Hello, in this video we're going to look at doing a Crystal Wallace ANOVA test using R. We're going to use the example data from chapter 9 on the nitrogen content of reeds in three different sites in a reed bed. We're going to use the code in, that's in the help sheet downloadable from the online resource centre. You can see that the first part of this help sheet tells you how to create a tad eliminated data file using Excel that we can use with the code later in the help sheet. The data has two columns, one with the independent variable site in and the other one with the dependent variable nitrogen level in. You can either use these guidelines to create your own data file or you can use a down, uh, download the pre-made file from the online resource centre. If you open this pre-made file in Notepad, it looks like this. You've got site in one column and nitrogen in the other column. And this is a similar sort of layout to you would ha that you would have when you're using SPSS, dependent variable in one column, independent variable in the other column. You can, quite easily with R, do, an do, do it with the sites in columns next to each other. So one column will be site 1, one column will be site 2, and one column will be site 3. That's sample, I call that sample layout and there's some notes on that in the help sheet. But for this video we're going to look, use the data that's in the same format uh, structure as SPSS and I call that variable layout. <coughs> right, we're going to move that to one side. We don't need that. We're going to crack on the analysis. So what we need is R in front of us. Here you go. If you want to know how to make R look like that with the R console on the window on the right and the R window on the left, uh, see the introductory video. So we need some code, so let's go to our help sheet. And we can copy and of course you can type it in, but I'm just going to do a quick cheat and copy and paste it. So into the R editor window, paste, just a bit of tidy up, let's put an retur extra return between the two bits and just checking that all the notes are on a single line, yes they are. Okay, so now we're ready to go ahead and do the analysis. We're going to start with this importing the data and I want to call the object reads, that's my decision or your decision if you're doing it. Um, we could call it donkeys if we like, but uh, actually that wouldn't make sense in this example. So you, that's, you choose that name. Let's run that code. Highlight it, control R. Navigate to where the data file is. And you can see it over here on the R console it tells us <coughs> what the names are in the, of the columns in the reads object, site and nitrogen. And it's important to note the spelling and the use of lowercase because you need to replicate that exactly in the second part here where you're going to use this code to actually conduct the Crystal Wallace test. This side of the wiggly line we have nitrogen, our dependent variable. We need that to be spelled exactly the same way as that. And on the right of the squiggly line, we want the name of our independent variable site. It's, now we highlight that, control R, and then we get our statistic, our degrees of freedom, and our p-value. If you want to remind yourself what the sample sizes are, which is good to report a lot with the Crystal Wallace, you can use the little bit of code that is in the end of the help sheet um, to do that. It tells you what N1, N2 and N3 are. And that's it. That's doing Crystal Wallace using R.